There's always one idea. Are you talking about me or the sheep? Today, Alan's going to show off how good his sheepdog is. Alan's going to do nothing of the sort, because for one, the sheepdog doesn't listen to me. It's completely Papa Bear's dog. If I take the dog out, it just runs looking for him. Like if we feel the sheep in front of it, it goes to find him, to take him to the sheep, to bring the sheep in, so. The good news is, he's got this to blame if it doesn't work. So we're going to try and see how good this dog is from the air. The dog works for him most of the time. For me, never. When she works well, she works really well, but she's just not getting enough work, I think, is the, the problem. But we'll see. We are bringing the sheep in today. We're going to split and win the, the lambs. Uh, lambs also are due a, a dose for worms, so hopefully get that done. So at the minute, Papa Bear is the dog sent out. Dad disappeared off one day to the sheepdog sale and came home with nothing. Got speaking to another man and ended up going to see a dog and buying it private. Now the dog, I'll scud myself saying this, but the dog works well, but the dog does not work well for me. Uh, if I let the dog off, it just goes running looking for my dad. So it's great to have the dog, I don't have to chase him, but I still need the old boy to work the dog. Like, she just won't listen to me at all, but she tends to do what, what he tells her. Before the dog, it was me chasing after the sheep in the field. And when you've no fences about the field and you're having to run through six or seven fields just to get the sheep in, ah, oh, it would have tormented your head, your head like. You can't beat a dog like. That's the pain on the back side. We're not exactly set up for sheep. So you're always messing about, shifting hurdles, making makeshift pens. Plugging holes, Alan, plugging holes. Plugging too many holes. In an ideal world, everything would just be set up solid. And it's just a matter of running them in. And... So what is the job we're doing today, Alan? What are we actually doing here? All right, so we're going to win the lambs today. We're going to split them all off if that doesn't rack and smash too much. Lambs are all due a dose for worms. Uh, a few of them starting to get dirty backsides, so they're due a dose. The lambs, a lot of boys' lambs is ready now at the minute to go. Mine, most of them's a bit off. So, yeah, it'll be a, a day or two before I have any lambs in the market. 
In theory, this should be straightforward, but they'll probably mess about on me. Like, where's maybe a bit of wood? Where's your weak spot in the system, Al? Pretty much there, there, up there. It's all weak. Summer night below. I uh, dear knows where it'll end up with the finish of it. The famous Baylor twine. Famous Baylor twine. And this is Dad's knife, which was his dad's, and I'm never allowed to use it, so it's actually a rarity he's, he's given me. The privilege, three generations of knife usage. Uh, if I lost that, I'd probably have to move out of the house for a while. Like, that's my grand, I think that was the knife he used to castrate the pigs. And there was one day Dad thought he had lost it in the state he was in. So now it's, once I have this cut and tied, it'll be handed straight back to him and I will be taking no more responsibility. Many have we got, Alan? Many have we got? Many sheep? That's a very good question. Do you not count them every morning? I'll count them every night before I go to bed. <laughs> How far do you get? Uh, I go round in circles. I think there's about 160 euros ish. This is not ideal because, for one, I ain't going to be standing too close to the sheep. They're not going to want to actually come up by me. Second of all, this isn't a secure structure, so this will all move and. Sure. I have to do things half, half measured, like. This isn't going to work very well at all. Hey, bring the... Stand you, hit that, you do that some on it. What's the plan? I'm just going to manhandle through them. How are we going now? We're not going well. Any sheep boys watching this will just think I'm a joke like the way I operate, but... I'll need a pole and that old gate to stand further back. Plus that thing not being solid. It's not ideal. Go on, guys. Once upon a time, I had somebody help me with the sheep. And I think I maybe took for granted just what all she did. It was definitely a lot handier when she was giving me a hand. What are you trying to say with my help, Al? Huh? What are you trying to say with my help? <laughs> Let's go, Al. Last go, and I want to find the escapees that broke through.
and be handy if you could train the dog to do all this for you, like.